Brad Sound Company in Darwin, in the north of Australia. Today we're going to have a look at the deployment of subwoofers. See it here, PV's QW218s. Now they're placed in pretty well a traditional spot. The inside of the stage looks pretty cool. This sort of deployment has pretty serious drawbacks. The main problem is in the centre of the venue, you get what you call a power alley, where the subwoofers are coupled in the middle. In front of the subwoofers, at varying frequencies, you'll get major nulls. So you get very uneven coverage. Heavy bass in the middle, not much bass in front of the loudspeaker, lots of bass off to the side, but we don't really want it. So why don't we have a look at some way we can get around this problem. Okay, one very efficient means of getting very good coverage at low frequency is the centre cluster. No power alley, no nulls, good even coverage right through the venue. Now, there is one minor drawback you have with this setup. You get a lot of low frequency screw back onto the stage. Maybe good for heavy metal, but for most genres of music, not really viable. There are ways and means we can fix this problem. And this is called an end file array. The purpose of this array is to eliminate a large amount of low frequency feed behind the subwoofers. We'll explain to you how it's done. First thing you've got to decide is what frequency is causing you the most problems on stage. We'll use that as a sensor centre frequency, so it will eliminate that and it will eliminate quite a few frequencies to a lesser extent up to an octave, half an octave in the side. In this particular case we're looking at 70 Hz. Now 70 Hz requires a distance of 1.24 metres from the front of this loudspeaker to the front of the loudspeaker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delay the sound from the front loudspeaker. That's going to allow the sound from the rear speaker to reach the level of the front speaker before the front speaker comes on. In fact, that sums up the power of all speakers and gives a good powerful bass at the front. Not the rear, because this speaker is delayed sound from the front of this meets the sound from the front of that. Depending on the wavelength and the distance you selected, you will almost eliminate all the frequencies that you don't want at the back of the subject. Now in this particular case we said 72 hertz. So uh, if you look at the speed of sound, it's rather hot weather here, 30 degrees, 349 metres a second the speed of sound. Water of the wavelength, 70 hertz, 1.24 metres. So the delay we required on the front loudspeaker, 3.5 milliseconds. So there you go. There are other ways of doing this to get even more projection from the rear. We actually delay the rear speaker. Very, very effective. A little more effective in uh, eliminating low frequency of the stage, but it does give you a little less power at the front. So today we're going to use the end fire array, 